Hello, and welcome to my third dual set match. This is my last match in the group phase. We've just got little groups. And then, um, then I guess there are a bunch of brackets. If you are the top player, uh, you go to a bracket. Everyone can advance to a bracket, but basically they're ranked brackets depending on how you place in your in your pool um so my last match here against blam blam bunny i have not played before to my knowledge but should be a good one uh assemble me who i tied I guess right now the group stage should, since there's only four, three, four of us, um, should be pretty easy to describe the assemble me is, um, and I tied assemble me four out blam blam bunny and I four out Cyrusk. Uh, so if I four out blam blam bunny, I will at the very least tie assemble me, and if. It, he drops any games to Cyrus Scott will win the group. Otherwise it gets more complicated. But just depending on how people do. So I don't have three uh three four otherwise I would probably open Alter transport into Alter. Uh I guess we are lacking draw, though there is a bit in Honey Lodge. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass on the two. I can get a squire later. There's no particular reason to buy one in the opening here. And then the question is whether I open with a coven or a falconer, I think. I'll probably go falconer just because I kind of like the stockpile gain as a better, little better odds of hitting six. And the coven gives so the coven of course has some some chance of doing that um let's really go heavy altar here i'm not super worried about the coven early on and if it looks like i'm gonna end up with 10 of the curses i won't get a coven i'll just hopefully end the game or get a good lead before uh, we kind of reach that point. Um, But we'll see. I was able to figure out the issue with my, uh, my microphone, which is nice. Um, so I'm back to the nicer microphone. Though, of course, there are some issues where I bump into it. But anyway, um, so we had one video without sound, one video with a worse microphone, and now we're back to the regular, hopefully, sound. So here I can either get two altars or I can get a top decked altar plus a village. Um, I think I'm going to go with double altar. I think it's just that good. There's going to be... Okay, we didn't get the hunting lodge in here, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's fine. So pretty much all my altars are going to be for hunting lodges. Um... I don't really feel like getting another stockpile, so I will probably just transport. 
it could be a village green actually, but I think we'll still do honey lodge. Um, There's a risk here of getting the village green. See, if we had done this, our turn actually has a chance of, of popping off. Um, there's some risk of getting village greens, I guess, while they have potentially have falconer. They haven't, sh no, they did shuffle. I mean, ideally, the village green. I mean, the village green is a little nicer, though I do get a horse out of the hostelry, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put the hunting lodge on top, just in the hope of this hand specifically, this kind of hand specifically. And they did have the falconer, so I guess we lucked out there. This is a nice, they could double, ooh, I don't like Bandit Camp at all. It's probably the worst village on the board. Um, if I had to guess. This is a little bit, okay, I won't do that. <laughs> I was going to think about tip tossing, but. I won't give him this. We do know they don't have Falconer now, so we could get a second Falconer. Um, and we can transport a Village Green this time. Okay, so both my stockpiles are now on the... in exile, but that's okay, I can get them later. <clears throat> yeah, I dis dislike the bandit camps quite a bit. Uh, this is tough, but I am gonna toss. Okay, this is a good draw to get the the stuff here. Um, we're gonna do I think what I'd like to do is this. Just do next turn. See what we get here. We can save the horse. Oh, unless we do this. Let's still, let's do like this. Okay. Yeah, now there's a horse on top. Seems pretty good. You know, this isn't perfect by any stretch, but it's like a, quite a reasonable kind of sequence here. I mean, with the horse on top, particularly. <clears throat> We're still pretty good, but I, well, also the village greens. So now we can think about getting the covens. Um, and probably pass them on the cursing pretty quickly. And then we won't have to worry so much about the. Um, won't have to worry too much about the points, about like three piling, if we just have given them five or six curses. 
What would be nice also, I, I should get a grave robber. There's a lot of stuff, I guess, that I should probably get. Um, there's some ways to generate horses, and then probably the gang here right now is a grave robber. We should still be able to get quite a number of um, let's go ahead and toss should still work out to get some covens okay Um, we can get another horse here. Hmm. It would be nice. It would have been nice to find. I guess we'll still be able to do it. Well, not exactly, but. We can just take. There's a mixture of things we can grab here, but the safest stuff by far is to just get more hunting lodges. But there's something to be said for getting like squires as well as altar fuel, though we still have a couple coppers. Um,. It's either buy or, or copper fuel or ultra fuel. Banna camp is probably the worst card on the board. Though it's not, I mean, it's it's okay-ish. It's just just quite a bit worse than the other things. I could have played heavier gains too. I mean, it, there's ways to go higher on falconers and stuff, do more hostelry stuff. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to play this. Um, pretty huge number. I don't know if I'll be able to pile out on my turn. I think the issue would be getting the points. Wouldn't be too far from it if we can get horses. Um, and if we can get like a province. So I don't, I mean, I don't have to go for it, but I don't need to rule it out either if there's opportunity for it. Well, now I don't have to do the curses, so um, that potentially makes things a little easier. Because, like, we can... I mean, if we get the stockpiles... <clears throat> I think the real question is mostly like why try to pile out now other than just because you can. Just, you know, not nothing. 
So if I get the two stockpiles in Ham and Falconers, get and play four or five stockpiles, 15 ish dollars, plenty of buys. If the all honey lodges are gone, we have to grave rob something to province probably. Let's just play it safer. We'll do, we'll just do it next turn. We don't have to do it now. There's just not really a good reason to. This doesn't. This doesn't make it impossible to pile out either. Just changes it a bit. Um, we don't need a huge number of them. Okay, that's not. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. This is, there's not a lot to this, but. Uh, I probably played that a bit silly. Do we have a win? We can do the emptying cost 12, and then we'd have to buy. No, we didn't quite have a win. Did I play Village Greens when I had Honey Lodges? I totally forgot about Honey Lodge. Village Green. It's so bad. That's actually unbelievably bad. It's like the whole... Well, maybe not the whole point, but it's like a major part of the deck. And I just... Uh... The only village greening stuff I did was was discard from exile. <laughs> so I just I guess to be fair, I haven't had village greens in hand until that turn, but still it was trivial to have done something and I just did uh literally nothing. So uh anyway, they're lower the stockpile, so we'll just go ahead and empty stuff it should be pretty straightforward here's uh <clears throat> don't have quite enough yet but not hard to get there I could have stopped but I didn't because I didn't want to okay all right all right all right all right I'll stop I'll stop I'll stop Uh, yeah.
yeah, I think if you don't do Honey Lodge stuff, it's it's going to be really tough. Just in general. Pretty impossible. My draws, I can't complain about my draws at all, really. I didn't, I mean, I put two altars in, but didn't have collision. And then after that shuffle, I mean, I, like, it could have been better because with st deck stacking or something, but it was, in general, it was totally nothing really sad. I haven't picked Seaside yet. We'll see how this goes. Um, ooh, so we got a wall board. Otherwise, you would probably build pretty heavily here. I mean, you still build some, but. I guess the question is something like, is it worth to get to build to a deck that can play a lot of farmers markets? Um, are those sources of is that source of points more more powerful because of the wall situation? Now, I guess if somebody sees you're doing that. They could, uh, they could hit you with an embargo, which would be super bad. So maybe not the play. Though you could pick, you could certainly pick one up. I mean, you maybe even a few. It's just to, it's a little tricky. Definitely a, a bit of a tricky wall situation. We do really, it would be a lot nicer if we had a treasure, but it's still worth to get the two silvers on the floor here, I think. I don't think wall is going to be a reason to not take early silvers, um, early extra silvers if you have $4, because there's not like $4 worth buying. Uh... Whether that continues, I don't know. Okay, so we're getting hit on Enchantress here, which is going to hurt a decent amount. They didn't go for the Delve. They just take one Silver, which I don't like, but of course they get the pretty noticeably nicer reshuffle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard here. The building is is definitely not wall friendly. You need quite a few pieces. It's like it's hard to even say for certain that like uh Like that patrician, you know, will it ever be worth the point it costs? I'm not sure. At this point, well, hopefully I don't get hit by chances again. At this point, I'm looking pretty money-ish. I mean, it's hard to not be fairly money-ish here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much you build. Seems tough. I'm not going to take a bunch more silvers. I think that's probably good on Delve. City Quarter, I don't know. It seems 
could be wrong, but it all seems a little tough. Like I could take one. You don't I don't I don't have a huge number of actions is is for one thing. I guess I can go Wharf City Quarter, which has some appeal. I would say at least a little bit of appeal. Pretty sad. Okay, well, we didn't draw the city quarter. That's something. Oh, we did draw all the action cards, right? So we're not... I don't know if the city quarter actually make... If they actually make sense or not. But that was a bummer. <laughs> Hit all the enchantresses. Uh, I do need... I probably should have taken a bazaar on one of these turns, but... Not hugely in love with the gold if you're playing this much draw, but we'll see. This city quarter, just a regular old village. And they're getting, I mean, they're moving. They're moving more than me, that's for sure. I mean, the patric well, this was a hero patrician. This is probably worth the point, <laughs> the point it's costing. I don't know if it's drawn before, but this is a pretty... Uh, heroic reveal for the patrician, so. Um, and that, that makes me consider get a gold in a bazaar, okay. If I don't find a city quarter off the top, then we're going to be in trouble. Then there, that's good work for the patrician too. This is rough. I'm going to certainly have to commit to... Oh gosh, this is really rough actually. I'm going to certainly have to commit to some comeback with Farmer's Market at this point. I don't know that we'll get there. Um, behind two provinces, but just the duchies are so bad, you know. So... I just want a hand that has like more than just a village city quarter. They may they may miss some. Okay, here we get a little draw. I'm not super optimistic, but it's not over either. This isn't so bad. These turns are bad enough that this isn't such a huge deal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Though that's just nightmarish too, so. Um, Cause he got nothing on the durations. Holy cow. Did I ever buy a bazaar? Patrician hits again. Didn't have that many cards to hit on it. Uh, I think we don't buy another city quarter. Oh my goodness. These draws. We have to get like all the farmer's markets. 
I don't think we're gonna get there. Even before they just like basically pile out or something. They should buy a bazaar, I think, or a wharf. They're gonna have well, they're gonna have a lot of extra. They may even double next turn. I don't know if they have that much money, but don't like the city quarter much. Okay, this helps a little tiny bit, except this is pretty bad in and of itself. Yeah, this is still gonna dud. I mean, we whiffed out so many actions. They didn't have a very good draw there either, though, so that helps them. Um, I'm still just whiffing on... Here's... There we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Here's a chance to play a bunch of farmer's markets. Play some wharves. Okay, well, <laughs> a bunch would appear to be a horrifying exaggeration. I got super optimistic, and it did not truly pan out. They can't embargo them. It's just a 30-point difference. We just have to play the farmer's markets 10,000 times. It's simple. We don't have enough villages to play a fraction of them. We'll have to buy bazaars. I guess I should have played the, um, what you calls it first, but anyway. Okay. If they get three provinces, am I just losing anyway? I'm going to be so sad if we don't see a village off this. Shoot, that's too good. That's too good of a draw. If they had a bad turn there, maybe there's like a outside chance, but this is this is too good. This is like double. Yeah, that's no way. I needed that. I needed to probably get the last three provinces. Um, but that's okay.
I probably did hit the farmer's markets just like a, a wee bit too soon. Um, just a hair. Maybe you should have gotten a city quarter there. I don't know. Okay, this is not such a great turn for them. Though I'm going to be living in this duchy or fine scenario. Well, this is also a nightmare. Nightmare Realm kind of condition, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's not gonna. If it had a really, if I had had a really, really good turn there and got another farmer's market blown up, how many was I playing when I played them? One, two, three, just four. That's not really that many. I definitely bought too many of them. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not going to get there. Now the green is, there's too much green. The draw just, it won't even get there on the draw. No chance. And eventually they'll either just buy a province or they'll, the duchies will be gone and that'll be too much. I wonder if I should have gotten a, well, this is a, those are very good city quarters at least. Can't, can't really complain about the city quarters. Uh, stay stone help me. I guess how many patricians do I have to buy before I get the emporiums? It's like, uh, and there's a chance that I'm just revealing them for them. I also did not play an enchantress this turn. Uh,. And then there's a chance that I probably should have bought a bazaar at some point during my duchy stuff to play farmer's markets faster. If I had to guess. Question is, can the, do the city quarters help? Or, or I could have bought a yeah, Bazaar or City Quarter. What do I... If I get rid of a Farmer's Market next turn, one, and I score five, I still have to kill two more. So they just... They're going to pile out. I don't think I'm going to get enough turns to make it work. That's even assuming I draw... Here they may just finish too. Yeah. I do think I could have won that. I think I made a few. I didn't. I thought they were far enough that I th it seemed really unlikely. But I actually think if I'd made better buys. I mean I had some kind of rough draws in there. But I think I, if I had made better buys this approach would have worked. Um, Like if I instead of piling the farmer's market that one turn I had got mixed in some a bazaar, another city quarter, then I'm playing the farmer's markets I do have at a much faster rate. I obviously still had like a huge amount of points I could score. I mean, every single one of these is potentially five points. The once you get low, a low number of them, then they just score quite slowly because if you have three of them, then it, you know, you just don't play them often enough. But as long as you're playing four of them or so, 
that has some real appeal four or five anyway uh yeah didn't work out i will choose intrigue so uh yeah i think of better building i actually do play the farmers markets probably quickly enough to get there like if instead of having seven farmers markets at the end i had yeah it's just bad it was just some bad building by me just bad I think it I think it does work in time. At least the with against what what they their shuffles and their buys. I think they could have probably um bought some different stuff that would have been a little better, but uh not not as off as I think my purchases were. My hope was uh what was my hope? My hope was that I think I just didn't have any idea of my village or whatever, village to terminal count, to be honest. Uh, okay, I didn't look at this board. It's got Conclave and probably enough stuff to at least do a little action-y thing so we can get Wisps, hopefully, and then... I mean, you can't go too hard. There's some... Uh... We can do a little draw. I guess I'm gonna go Pixie Conclave. It could be a mill. It could be a steward, but the payload is like pretty good. Or there's a decent mix of things, so that makes the conclave a good pretty good deal more appealing. Does feel like cobbler is possibly worth picking up here. Not totally clear on that. May be hard to compete with just replace. For a not really the same purpose, but kind of similar. Uh I will keep and I think I'll just take replace. So I'll go I'll go estate mill and then get steward. Don't like the gold. Fives are all quite playable. So it looks pretty bad to me. So one of those where it's lucky that you have five instead of six. <laughs> it's going to tempt you to... I don't know that I'll blow up this pixie. I kind of... I would quite like... Um, would, would quite like to hit Wisp. 
So I'm pretty happy to keep my pixie for now and get a few more off the replaces. I should be good here. I don't think they're going to get the right angle. Just from this point, I think it's really unlikely. I mean, they have, you can have two torturers, but they have zero conclave, so the, the play of that looks pretty tough to, like, make work. Um, let's just go cards. Let's just draw a little more. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Not going to lie. We've left replace and pixie at the bottom here. That was quite unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Uh, can think about cobbler. But there are some problems with it as well. Assume they're going to play a torture on me. Not sure yet. I may just take the curse and go curse to Pixie with the replace. Wasn't clear. It's still pretty unclear, but you're probably just buying a gold. Yeah, I don't. Don't quite. Don't really like that. Would be a little nicer to. Um, should get thin somehow, which probably means I need either monastery or a, to just actually use the steward for trashing. Uh, I'll take it. Their buys, I don't know, they don't make a whole lot of sense to me. We can replace the monastery into something later. Hopefully we get... Oh, we can blow, blow it up this way. As well. This is pretty good thinning. Ooh, this is rough. Maybe I just shouldn't have done it this way. I'm thinking about another cobbler, though. It's a little questionable. Maybe we'll get Field's Gift. I mean, they're going to hit me with one torture most turns, but they have, like, so many tortures. Well, and I can take the curses pretty much indefinitely. Fields would be pretty nice here in a province. I think I need to get into the... At some point I need to stop taking the curses just so that I'm giving them the curses and then that would be better. Not that I'm going to play a bunch of torturers ever, but... You know... This is sort of a rough, I'll probably, okay, this gives us something. Just because of the way the, conclaves work out here. Um, could have a bunch of cobblers, I guess. Hmm. 
So I'm going to have... Do I want to buy a second torture? Now I can go down. Okay, this should still be fine, even if they province like a bunch of turns. Which, I don't know, like... I hope they don't buy just another torture. There you go, Conclave makes more sense. There's still problems with it, but... Hmm, I still want, I would love to get the wisps. I may do skulk here with this cobbler. Uh, probably can still go down. I don't know. Wish I had gotten that wall game. This is gonna be a little rough. We did get to the cobbler, so it's not the worst thing, but yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, uh what do we put on top? Do we replace something? That was pretty unfortunate. We'll just kill the skulk. I don't really want it. <clears throat> okay. Uh what did I trash the skull? I get another skull. Could just be a pixie. Not certain what the what the play is there, but where are the wisps? Actually, we should go ahead and... Yay! I don't know what the quick, I mean, probably the quickest way to end it is to just do the provinces.
I guess if I get a forest gift, it might be Pixies, but. they buy a province we can get it we can finish now but otherwise we'll probably need another turn yeah that's just well I, I, we could still hit a beneficial pixie Oh man. I guess I could have stopped and done the pixies as soon as I did forest, pretty much. Or probably as soon as I did forest. All right, that's game three. I do it this well. If I, if I win the last game, um, I will need assemble me to lose a game to Sirisk. And... I think I'll win the tiebreaker because it's like the sum of it's the it's that tiebreaker I hate the sum of sum of scores or whatever from league that they used to use. Uh, what did we play? <laughs> what did I choose first? Menageries. We still have adventures. Maybe I'll do adventures. Um, I would like some events. So, I think because I think I won the tiebreaker if assemble me because I beat the person who will. Well, actually, I don't know yet. It depends then on the head to head between Sirius and Blame Blame Bunny. Never mind. It's just it's just up in the air. It's a true mystery. I will open peasant magpie here unless I have a four three, then I may do 
then I'll probably do peasant top deck. But if I have anything else, or or the five two, I guess. The five two one is a little sad because then you don't get on the four three one you can at least potentially it's not guaranteed, but you can potentially draw the there's also ooh, I do not like the Smithy Bite. There's something to be said for um I guess there's also something to be said for going like dungeon top deck peasant as well. That's not crazy. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, it would be nice to get a magpie, but uh, the smithy looks not good, but if they get nice draws, it can work out fine. But I think it's probably one of the worst openers here. They don't get peasant at all. They may not be. I, th I think this person is pretty new to Dominion, so they may not know about peasant. Kind of how good it potentially can be. <clears throat> or often is. Um, you may not know about like Magpie and stuff either. I don't know. There's no OVP, so that's the only thing that makes this board uh the tiniest bit scary to me. I don't I don't think it's really scary, but uh you know, it can always be a little bit... I'm not sure about those buys either. If I find the dungeon, they look a lot nicer, but... Um, they didn't pick up Magpie there, so they are at least that much attuned to the Magpie. I could get another dungeon, which is certainly excessive, but will let me run these travelers quite quickly. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to need a magpie myself for sure. Okay. I think that was better than playing the soldier again, but not for sure. Or then by not playing a second dungeon is what it was. Uh, I think eventually the peasant stuff will catch up. This is quite a good turn for them. <clears throat> But they they love love the golds. I think they do a lot of really nice stuff for what it's worth. Um, from what I can see, some solid solid buys. But certainly the golds needs to be shut down pretty considerably. Um, it's just way way too much. And uh, you know really bad uh we can probably afford another peasant it's a little greedy admittedly certainly if we find the disciple here of the four cards um that'll be really good they haven't gotten a second magpie yet which is a bit unfortunate for them Otherwise, there could be quite a big split in this. And hopefully, they buy chat. No, okay. So I don't know if they read the event. I, I honestly, I think they probably have just like never played with these expansions. Um, so unfortunately, they didn't. I wonder if I get the artisan or if I just double the lost city. I almost have too many. I think it's almost better to just do the. The Lost City rather than the Artisan Disciple. Though there's something to be said for the other 
way as well. I mean, we don't want to go so slow here that we lose, of course. So hopefully... Hopefully not that slow. Though we also have a decent shot of getting some. Soldier stuff going. We're going to have to watch at least the. The greening. because there's no alt VP. So we're rolling, I mean, we can certainly build a deck that gains the duchies very, very rapidly. That's not a problem. But if they get around to four or so provinces, then we have to at least worry a little bit. Um, this seems like a great board for teacher, except that disciple is still so good. Um, I wonder if <clears throat> our draw isn't quite there, though the teacher would really make a big difference for that. Smithy, we could just do smithies. That's plenty. I'm trying to think. All right, we'll just get a smithy. Uh, I think I'll keep in the disciples. This is a little scary. This could go quite bad, to be perfectly honest. I don't think they'll province. Hopefully they just don't province consistently enough to to really get there. I was like, where are the... Okay. They probably will province on this turn, but that's fine. <clears throat> we ran the magpies really heavy there, which we can do some artificer tricks now if we want. Um, oh, whoops. Now I've forgotten the... I forgot to buy traveling fare. Maybe get to a point where we can just pile the duchies. This may be the spot where we get the second artisan. I should have tossed, I probably should have tossed coppers there. 
but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> we can run a few of these up still. Yeah, we go double artisan or disciple artisan and go like artificer, lost city, something like that. Um, okay, we could have done that a little differently, probably a little better. Whatever, this is this is a bit sloppy, but it super doesn't matter. So I don't know if we'll have enough draw, but if we do we can probably empty the duchies. May not have enough draw though. Certainly the magpies will go. Probably they hit province here, but. There is a drew deck, more or less. Nope, the whole thing. Okay, so if I can get I mean again, I don't have to empty the deck, but or I don't have to win right now. That's not like critical. Emptying dungeons is also. Potentially a way. I guess this is getting to being a little bit risky. Not until there's literally no draw on hand, but okay. Oh, we didn't hit. Well, I wonder if Artificer will work. Or, in, or getting. That's okay, we don't have to win right now. Pretty good amount of whatever in there. Treasure. Well, I say pretty good, but look at all this junk. Okay. And there was a smithy, huh? It's all a bit 
nonsense. But it'll be fine. There was there was almost certainly some kind of way to f get a win, but we'll just look for a dungeon pile out here. Guess it's actually these for the There's another one, okay. Guess we still toss lost cities, it's a little weird, but I don't actually have the money in hand yet. I still actually don't have the money in hand yet. I could have done the things, of course, but... Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one if it's in if you're unfamiliar with the expansion for sure. That's just not not going to work out. Okay, so I got 3 1 here. Would have liked to get 4 0 to at least clinch. But in any case, thank you for watching. And I guess maybe you'll see me in bracket depending, depending on how it goes. Uh, but catch y'all later.